dedicate the Alfred P. Memorial Room. Um, you know, after Mr. P. died two years ago, and we, there was this tremendous outpouring of messages from far and wide, people who, who knew him, old customers, old employees, and even people who didn't know him at all, but uh, in one way or another, he had a big effect on their lives. And uh, Pete's created a blog on the on our website, and so we've got a, a log of all these messages that came in. And at one time or another, I mean, pretty soon we'll, we're going to incorporate this in the memorial space back here. Um, but anyway, we realized there was a legacy here that uh, that required preservation, and that's what this room is all about. Um, and the idea was not to build a shrine to Mr. Pete, but just to perpetuate his memory and to recognize the influence that he's had on us and the local North Berkeley community, Gourmet Ghetto, and uh, really more widely, coffee quality in America, because many of you who were born before 1966 probably remember what it was like to have a cup of coffee in, in those days. One thing that um, I want to mention is that this site was recognized by the Berkeley Historical Society, and there are two members from the PHS here today. There's a plaque outside on the wall that recognizes this site for its cultural contribution to Pete's history, um, and I think that's really important. You know, of course, he didn't recognize. He didn't know at the time what was going to turn out to be. Put our heads together, and uh, we had a team working at Pete's that consisted of Felicia Chan, who's here, Eric Cookstad, our um, architect consultant and designer who really helped us put the displays together. Liz Burrell, who worked really closely with me and, and with the rest of us uh, in designing the displays and putting the fixtures up, etc. And uh, we've got some, I don't know, the yeah, idea isn't really the right word. Uh, okay. Um, but the maestro is here, I saw him come in a minute ago, and uh, the maestro made some, here he is, filming me. <laughs> he made a great contribution to the room uh, in hand, I mean, making a pair of handmade cowboy boots in memory of Mr. Pete, and the description is there in the case. Um, we also have Eric Hansen, a writer, friend of ours, who took one of the pictures that's up on the wall. He wrote a very interesting book called Murder with Mohammed, which is about seeking out coffee in Yemen. Um, Sal Bonavita, who was uh, owner of Pete's between 1979 and 1984. And Sal, was, you know, he kept Pete's on a straight and narrow path of quality and uh, was really great. And he did an exceptional job. Laura Lewis is here, who wrote the poem called um, Exacting Man that's on the wall back there, and I hope all of you at some time or another get a chance to read it because it's, it's really exceptional work of poetry. Laura worked for Mr. Pete. They sat side by side for quite a long time, and she talks all about it in her poem. <laughs> <laughs> David Lance Goins is here, the noted uh, Berkeley printmaker. David, thanks a lot for coming up. Uh, there's a really interesting story about one of the posters that David made for Mr. Pete in, in the back of the back room. And um, I also had uh, Coco Lot, which was one of the fixtures of Fort Ghetto back in the day. There are also some pizza luminaries that I want to um, <coughs> point out. Pat O'Day, who's our president CEO, and Pat's keeping uh, the ship on I don't know how stable. <laughs> going forward, uh, also the, the chairman of the board of Pete's, Jean-Michel Robat, is here somewhere. Anyway, oh there he is, back in the room. Maybe he didn't want to finish his name. Gordon Bauer, who's a longtime friend and colleague, um, a jury in mine, going back to the mid '70s. Um, and also Jerry Baldwin, who's my boss, friend, and colleague of 30, let's see, 73 to 09 is 36 years, right? 
Um, and I want to, that's a way of introduction. So I'm happy to join in this dedication of, of the room, really to, to Alfred, but also to his, his, his memory, his philosophy, our mentor, inspiration, you know, a, a seminal force in quality coffee and a pretty important part of the culture of Berkeley. Thanks for coming and uh, enjoy yourself. Thank you.